Hi, I'm Michael Katz. I'm a partner at the law firm of Mashoff Brennan, an intellectual property law firm with offices in Los Angeles, Orange County, Park City, and Salt Lake City. And we're a platinum sponsor of the Innovator of the Year Award that the Orange County Business Journal presents every year. We're very excited this year to be presenting the award to Martha Montoya, the founder of AgTools, an incredible company that we'll talk about more in a minute. Martha, I'm so excited to welcome you to this year's awards ceremony, and I'm, I'm really pleased to an announce that you're the award winner this year as the Innovator of the Year Award. Um, winner, you have um, carry uh, on your shoulders <laughs> a, a great responsibility, <laughs> and, and that's why we have you here, because we don't just want to talk about your company. Mm -hmm. We want to, to pick your brain a little bit about um, insights that you could provide for innovators that are coming after you. Uh, maybe they can avoid some of your mistakes yeah. and learn some of the tricks of the trade. So um, first of all, tell us a little bit about, about your company, AgTools. I understand that you came up with this idea of providing data analytics to the agricultural sector. Mm -hmm. um, what is it that you do, actually? So what we do is we take data from all government entities across the world and institutions, and we put them in a little dashboard that is very simple and easy to read from a farmer who has no time to decide what to do to the buyer who instead doesn't have time to do. And so it gives them an insight of how the market is behaving, the volumes, the pricing, the weather patterns in the market, not on the farms, but on the market. Okay, and, and, and who are your typical customers for this tool? Well, initially, and we know that there are 23 industries that are potential customers, and that's why it's so interestingly wide, but we're very laser focused on farmers and buyers, because that's really the supply chain after C19 that we discovered we had no products on the shelves, is because buyers didn't know what, where to find products, and the, buy, and the farmers didn't know where to go with the extra or left products. So again, not trading among themselves, just data of where it's going things. And um, when did you come up with this idea? Well, I would say 20 plus years ago, because uh, I used to develop crops worldwide for large corporations across um, whether South Africa, Vietnam, Chile, Pakistan. I would have to develop the crops from scratch and analyze was this a good place to start a crop? So I had to data, I mean, literally I had to use to go libraries, USC library, UCL library, to gather paperwork to understand whether this was the place. So I used to do these reports, and these reports eventually became an analog format. And then when one large corporation brought me into the United States to do a project, the same thing I was doing overseas, I realized that the data was missing also in the United States, and that's when I created an email format. So it has been always there, but kind of an evolution of it. And so now you have this company that's thriving <laughs> and that has a lot of uh, customers, but um, surely you had problems along the way before you realized th this potential. What was your greatest impediment to getting where you are today? Funding. I would say funding because when, when I went to Stanford to write the business plan, I knew there was, I knew I understand I understood the industry. I just didn't know whether this was a real business, so I went to Stanford for a program called Scalability uh, for Latinos. And it's about businesses that have been successful but are not growing fast enough. And so they created this program at Stanford, so I went and said, okay, and I remember the professor said, whatever you have done, throw it away, but take your industry knowledge. And that's how that business plan was written. But then I went to UC Davis to validate the program because that's the number one university in the world for ag, literally, and did a 75 people research. And I think that that's one of the things that we have to emphasize for those who, of us who want to start a company. We need to do research of consumers what, or the customers. What are the pain points, the famous pain points? I got that earlier in the, in the business. But then when I went out there to fundraise, that's when I discovered that uh, we women are very underfunded in the world of venture or angel world. And then if it's technology, it's even less. So from 2% to less than 0.1%. And if you're a minority, 0.01%. So I thought, oh, 
after having draw, flown the whole world, getting all this funding for projects overseas in the middle of nowhere, war zones, 20, 30, 40 millions, but we couldn't get funding in the United States. That was a little bit of puzzling for me. Right. And, and, and how did you break that log jam? I would say, well, I have to give credit to a wonderful gentleman in uh, Seattle in one program for women, believe it or not. So I think these women programs are very in interesting. And if we bring the gentleman to tell us the insights, and don't be shy, gentlemen, don't be shy to give us what you think because it gives us an insight. He said, listen, um, how do you, when you found yourself, um, I, I play tennis professionally, I used to play tennis for Colombia. Um, when you used to lose, what do you do? I said, next day I would go there and train more and focus more. So, well, it's the same thing here. Train more, focus more, and just focus on fundraising. Drop everything. Don't get so scattered out there doing marketing and sales. It's just, if fundraising is your focus, that's what you're going to focus. And so that's when I decided to focus, and that's when the break started happening. I mean, that's great. That, that's one piece of great advice for um, young innovators coming after you. That's very insightful. Um, what do you think your greatest accomplishment has been so far? Well, besides having two children, which we women should always be proud of that, and parents should be proud of that, um, I, I think having, um, and having two wonderful brothers, because I owe the business we're doing through two brothers and parents that have been able to create a whole, I say that Tools today is really built around a community, between parents, family, investors, customers. But I would say the biggest accomplishment for me is when I see the smile of a farmer, uh, being able to make more money. That, when I see them smiling and saying, there's, as long as I see, more, I, uh, I see more, achieve more, when they say, oh, I can see. When I hear that, little I feel like I want to cry because centuries have gone by and the farmers have no way to know what happens to them and their merchandise and their right. products. It's a tough business. It's a tough business. So this gives them a leg up. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it, it's very interesting. You, um, you know, you are the award winner, but um, you look to other people for help, and you are in an ecosystem where people are helping each other. Um, that seems to be essential to achieving a project at the end of the day. Oh, 100 <clears throat> percent. And I say that because maybe I started developing crops worldwide, and I knew that I had to bring so many people around to create programs. From, from even the gentleman who opens the door at the, at the port. You need that person, the person who, everything. So this whole um, road of Act Tools was, it has been a wonderful one about bringing mentors um, and, and friends uh, to it. Uh, well, that's just great. I'm so pleased to have, <laughs> um, have you as the award winner. And I think, you know, California is the center of agricultural economy in the world, possibly. Mm -hmm. And I think you're contributing to making us even more cutting edge and more successful. So congratulations. Thank you. And I, and I believe Orange County in particular, and I know this because I have had a wonderful friends, mentors in the Orange County School District system uh, on creativity. And uh, creativity is what really drives businesses. And um, I remember when the wonderful gentleman from the Butterfly Program, I, they'll, they'll see me eventually, uh, they involved me in that. And I remember, because I come from a very creative family, but I, either you're business or you're creative. But no, now the world can merge, and Orange County is one of the best places in the world for creativity and, and business. I believe that, too. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you.